Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Getting Started with the BBA300 Broadband Amplifier. In this presentation, we'll explain the basic configuration and operation of a Rodian Schwartz BBA300 Broadband Amplifier. The Rodian Schwartz BBA300 is a family of compact, solid-state broadband amplifiers. The BBA300 CDE covers the frequency range of 380 MHz to 6 GHz while the BBA300DE covers 1 GHz to 6 GHz. Depending on the model and configuration, output power can be from 15 watts to 300 watts. The BBA300 can be operated as a desktop or rack-mounted instrument, and although this presentation will focus on using a single standalone unit, the BBA300 can be integrated into a multi-unit system. The BBA300 has several unique features, such as the ability to adjust the amplifier's conduction angle, or bias point, as well as the ability to adjust between higher output power and higher mismatch, or visoire tolerance. We'll explain both of these in just a few moments. The BBA300 can be configured and operated via the local front panel controls or using a web browser, and it also supports programmatic control using standard Skippy commands. Let's start with a quick overview of the connectors. The RF and other connectors are located on the rear of the BBA300. Note that some of the connectors may be configuration dependent. The most common and the most important of these connectors are the RF input and RF output connectors, the sample port connectors for measuring or monitoring forward and reflected power, LAN and USB interfaces, and the interlock interface, which is used to enable or disable RF output based on the state of an external switch or loop. As mentioned earlier, the BBA300 supports two adjustable performance parameters. The first of these is the ability to choose between higher output power or higher mismatch tolerance. The second is the ability to adjust the operating class or bias point of the amplifier. Both of these parameters can be modified while the amplifier is in operation. Let's take a few moments to explain these parameters and how they affect the performance of the amplifier. Broadband amplifiers are often operated into loads that are not perfectly matched, meaning that some of the forward power will be reflected back towards the amplifier, resulting in a voltage standing wave ratio, or visoire, greater than 1. With the appropriate software option, the BBA300 can be configured to operate between, or trade off between, two different modes. The first provides a higher maximum output power when operating into a well-matched load, that is, when visoir is less than 2. The other is higher mismatch tolerance, which delays power reduction until a visoire of approximately 6 is reached. This is particularly helpful in the case of poorly matched loads, or loads such as antennas, where impedance varies significantly as a function of frequency. The BBA300 allows this behavior to be adjusted in 10 evenly spaced steps between these two modes. Another configurable parameter on the BBA is the bias point or operating class, which can have a significant influence on the quality of the output signal. If the bias point is adjusted to the middle of the transistor's linear region, the BBA will operate as a Class A amplifier. Operating in Class A produces the most faithful reproduction of the input signal and also provides excellent linearity and very low levels of harmonics. If the bias point is adjusted to Class AB, the output signal may be somewhat distorted, but this will also improve the efficiency of the amplifier and more faithfully reproduce the envelope of pulse signals. As with mismatch tolerance versus output power, the operating class of the BBA300 is also adjustable in 10 evenly spaced steps between Class A and Class AB. As mentioned earlier, the BBA300 can be operated in two different ways. One is local operation, using the front panel buttons and display, and another method is remote operation, using either a web browser and or by using standardized Skippy programming commands. Let's start by looking at local mode operation. The local mode hard key on the front of the BBA300 
is used to toggle between local and remote control. If local mode is enabled, as indicated by the yellow LED above the key, remote control of the BBA via the web interface is blocked. Values can be viewed, but they cannot be changed or edited. Local mode is useful in preventing configuration or operational conflicts between a local user and a remote user. It's important to remember that local mode must be enabled in order to change configuration parameters through the front panel interface. Next, let's go through the other front panel displays and controls. In the window, bar graphs and numeric values are used to show the forward and reverse power. The bar graph shows the percentage of power relative to the rated input power. From these values, the voltage standing wave ratio, or VISWAR, is calculated and is displayed along with the frequency range supported by the amplifier. Note that a VISWAR value over 10 will simply be displayed as greater than 10. A set of arrow keys are used together with the back and OK buttons to navigate the BBA300's menus. The BBA's RF output is enabled and disabled using RF on off. And in addition to the RF on off and local status LEDs, additional status LEDs for mute, interlock, and error are also on the front of the BBA. All of the BBA's functions can be accessed via the front panel display and controls, but in the remainder of this presentation, we'll explain these functions via the remote web-based user interface. To use remote access, we first have to configure the BBA's remote Ethernet interface. There are two Ethernet interfaces on the rear panel of the BBA 300. A local interface, which is intended for local operation via a directly connected computer, and a remote interface, which is intended for remote connection over a network. This is the interface that we'll be using in this presentation. To configure these interfaces, we first press the Menu OK Hard key, and then use the arrow keys to scroll down to Ethernet. At this point, we need to press the Menu OK Hard key again and select Remote Interface. Here we can view or edit the IP address and pick between automatic configuration using DHCP or manual configuration of address, subnet mask, etc. After parameters have been configured, it's a good idea to scroll down and verify the interface status. In particular, the status of the interface should say connected. Note that once remote access to the BBA has been established, interface configuration can also be viewed or changed remotely through the remote interface. The remote interface of the BBA 300 can be accessed by entering the amplifier's IP address into any web browser but access does require a username and password. There are three pre-configured users, each with different write and read permissions, that is, with different levels of available configuration and control settings. These pre-configured users are Operator, Expert, and System Configurator. The default password for all three of these users is the serial number of the instrument, but this can also be changed under Administrative Settings. The BBA 300 web interface is organized into five settings tabs on the left side of the screen. RF operation, operation settings, setup, logbook, and about. We'll cover each of these on the next few slides. The RF operation tab displays the operating panel, showing the forward and reflected power, both numerically and graphically, as well as the calculated visoire. A status panel is displayed on the top of all tabs. This panel duplicates the LEDs on the front of the BBA and also provides controls for turning RF or mute on and off. The behavior and operational parameters of the amplifier are controlled from the Operation Settings tab. The sub-tabs under this item are Output Mode, Operating Class, Gain Control, and Miscellaneous. The settings in these tabs can be set for a single RF path, or in the case of a multipath amplifier or system, for all RF paths. And up to three sets of values can be saved and or loaded as presets. Let's start by looking at output mode. The output mode and operating class settings are used to adjust the visoire versus power 
and operating class settings as described earlier in this presentation. Each of these parameters can be set individually over a range of 10 equally spaced steps. And settings can also be saved as one of three presets. The Gain Control tab is used to adjust the gain, and thus the output power of the amplifier will increase or decrease depending on the gain setting. This value is directly entered in units of dB with an effective step size of 0.25 dB. Note that the possible range of gain values depends on the model and configuration of the BBA300. The Miscellaneous tab contains various functions. The settings under Automatic determine the behavior of the BBA300 when the instrument is turned on and or mains power is connected. Interlock is used to view and change the behavior of the interlocks. The power unit can be set to watts or dBm, and fan speed allows choosing the fan mode. Mode 1 provides more constant gain, and Mode 2 helps to minimize fan noise. And finally, there's a system tab that can be used for things such as restarting or resetting the BBA. The Setup tab covers basic configuration and housekeeping settings, such as appearance, interface and remote access configuration, etc. Please see the documentation or online help for more information about these parameters and how they're used. The Logbook tab provides access to the logbook, in which up to 500 system events are recorded in chronological order. These entries can be filtered by type or category, that is, information, warning, or fault, using the checkboxes at the top of the dialog. The logbook entries can also be exported in either HTML or CSV format. The final tab is the About tab. This tab displays information about installed hardware and software, options, etc. Under the Diagnostics tab, a diagnostics file containing information about the BBA, including device settings and logs, can be created. This file can be useful for debugging, troubleshooting, and support. Let's end with a brief summary. The Roding Schwartz BBA300 is a compact, solid-state broadband amplifier with a frequency range of 380 MHz or 1 GHz up to 6 GHz and output power of 15 to 300 watts depending on configuration or model. It can be operated via its front panel using a web browser or programmatically by means of standard Skippy commands. All three methods can be used to monitor operation and configure or update settings. In addition to standard parameters such as gain, the BBA300 has two special performance settings. The first allows the user to choose between a higher visoir or mismatch tolerance and higher total output power. And the second allows the user to vary the conduction angle or bias point to operate as either a Class A or Class AB amplifier. Both of these parameters can be adjusted in steps during operation. And although this presentation is focused on using the BBA300 as a standalone desktop instrument, it can also be rack mounted and integrated into a multi unit system. This concludes our presentation Getting Started with the BBA300 Broadband Amplifier. Thanks for watching.